Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Federal judge released 1.2 million documents. Obama, Clinton scandals just exposed. As multiple investigations into former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's corruption and crime syndicate start to heat up and produce results, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton was sounding the alarm last week about a tsunami of information which is about to further expose the deep state. Fitton took to Twitter to say that even more corruption scandals from the Obama administration were close to being released since the Justice Department was forced to hand over 1.2 million documents to the Republican-led Congress. The handing over of these files took place as part of a congressional probe into corruption in the DOJ prior to the 2016 presidential election. Later in the week, Fitton confirmed this on Fox News with host Sean Hannity. Fitton said, We have the court ruling that the Clinton emails need to be released more quickly. So, we're going to get all these Clinton emails that she tried to hide or delete, and then we had the court just yesterday talk about how he wants the Comey memos, because he wants to review the Comey memos, which are the genesis of the Mueller operation. Now we are going to find out more details about the FISA, the intelligence surveillance abuses." Fitton then went on to detail the developments in the past few weeks that federal agencies had in fact launched new investigations into Hillary Clinton's involvement with the fake Russian dossier and other cover-ups during the Obama regime. All this came around the same time as a federal judge ruled that the FBI must turn over immediately all withheld documents to the court in a Freedom of Information Act lawsuit filed by Judicial Watch. And to make matters even worse for the Clintons, Republican chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Chuck Grassley, and Senator Lindsey Graham, called on the Justice Department to appoint a second special counsel to analyze the slanderous and fake claims in the dossier, which has been used by Democrats to claim Trump colluded with Russia in the 2016 election as an excuse for Hillary Clinton's humiliating loss. The conservative Daily Post reports. Earlier this week. An 11-count indictment was handed down on a top official with ties to Clinton's Uranium One scandal. The scandal involves the Clinton Foundation receiving roughly $145 million to the Clinton Foundation in exchange for Clinton's State Department approving the sale of 20 percent of the United States uranium to the Russian nuclear company Rosatom. For the good of the justice system in this great nation of ours let's all hope and pray we can get to the bottom of this. Because if Hillary does, in fact, Get off scot-free it will take generations for Americans to once again begin to have trust in our institutions of justice again. Here is more on this via Judicial Watch. Court orders production of 13,000 pages of struck-slash-page emails. Court agrees to FBI's two-year production schedule. Washington, D.C. The Justice Department informed Judicial Watch late last week that the FBI plans to send letters to Peter Strzok and Lisa Page asking them to preserve agency records on their personal accounts and personal devices and requesting confirmation that they are doing so. Judicial Watch made the preservation request to the FBI as part of its Freedom of Information FOIA, lawsuit for records of the two current and former FBI officials. On May 21. U.S. District Court Judge Reggie B. Walton ordered the FBI to begin processing 13,000 pages of previously undisclosed emails exchanged exclusively between FBI officials Strzok and Page between February 1, 2015, and December 2017. The first 500 pages of records are to be processed by June 29, 2018. 1. The Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI, shall process the 500 pages of potentially responsive records and produce any responsive, non-exempt records to the plaintiff on or before June 29, 2018. 2. After June 29, 2018, the FBI, on a monthly basis, shall process 500 pages of potentially responsive records and produce any responsive, non-exempt records to the plaintiff, and 3. On September 1, 2018, and thereafter on a quarterly basis, once every three months, on the first day of the month, or, if the first falls on a weekend or holiday, the next business day, the party shall file a joint status report advising the court of the FBI's progress in processing the request. Prior to the judge's order, on May 17, Judicial Watch filed a joint status report in federal court regarding the production of struck page documents. According to the report, between April 5 and May 4, 2018, the FBI processed only 35 pages of potentially responsive records identified as travel requests, authorizations, vouchers and expense reports for Strzok and Page, and 16 pages were released. On May 2 the FBI wrote a letter to Senator Grassley saying it had not requested information from the personal email accounts of Strzok and Page. 
T. The FBI has not requested from Ms. Page or Mr. Strzok any information from their personal email accounts, nor has the FBI conducted searches of non-FBI-issued communications devices or non-FBI E2 accounts associated with Mr. Strzok or Ms. Page. The status report also details the FBI's promise to try to preserve the Strzok Page records from their personal devices. The developments come in Judicial Watch's January 2018 FOIA lawsuit against the Justice Department, Judicial Watch v. U.S. Department of Justice, No. 1 colon 18 CV00154, after it failed to respond to Judicial Watch's December 4, 2017, FOIA request seeking all records of communications, including but not limited to, emails, text messages and instant chats, between FBI official Peter Strzok and FBI attorney Lisa Page, all travel requests, travel authorizations, travel vouchers and expense reports of Peter Strzok, all travel requests, travel authorizations, travel vouchers and expense reports of Lisa Page. Strzok and Page were deeply involved in the Clinton email scandal and served on the Mueller investigation team. Strzok was reportedly removed from Mueller's team in August and reassigned to a human resources position after it was discovered that he and FBI lawyer Page, who worked for FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, and with whom Strzok was carrying on an extramarital affair, exchanged stridently pro-Clinton and anti-Trump text messages. Strzok also reportedly oversaw the FBI's interviews of former National Security Advisor, General Michael Flynn. He changed former FBI Director James Comey's language about Hillary Clinton's actions regarding her illicit email server from grossly negligent to extremely careless and played a lead role in the FBI's interview of Clinton. Strzok is suspected of being responsible for using the unverified dossier to obtain a Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act FISA, warrant in order to spy on President Trump's campaign. The FBI has been slippery when it comes to records about the Clinton and Russia scandal fiascos, so we're pleased the Bureau is taking steps to make sure government records don't go missing," said Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. On the other hand, the FBI's purposeful slow walking of the struck page materials shows contempt for both transparency law and the public interest in figuring out how and why the FBI was politicized to target President Trump, while protecting Hillary Clinton. Director Ray and Attorney General Sessions should step up and speed up the release of these documents. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.